<laughs> right? <laughs> I agree. Uh, my name is Richard Winchester. Uh, I've been around BFG for, believe it or not, come May, 44 oh, years. So. <laughs> If I get cut out on the trail, there's rubber dust or a rubber compound or something coming out of my arm. <laughs> you know? But uh, anyway, I've been around this for a long time. I'm basically an East Coast guy until I found out about the West Coast. But uh, I love it all. Wheeling, whether it's here or back in, in the Carolinas or Georgia or wherever, is always fun. I always enjoy it. The guy that helps me do a lot of stuff is, is Matt Leopard. Where's Matt? Way back here. Okay. But Matt back there. Uh, he does a lot of the stuff for us. Nate Hunt, Nate, where are you at? Nate is more motorsports, where uh, Matt and I are more of the events, and uh, and they do tie together quite often in uh, various various reasons. Um, Gary Enterline, which you guys, a lot of you know Gary from the past. Woo! Gary's here. <laughs> and Corey Blooms is around here. Where's Corey? Corey's over here. The what Corey I figured out a long time ago. Corey's a good cook, so if you like the food, it's all Corey's fault and Jackie's fault. So, uh, we also have Keith Towers here. Keith, you around there somewhere? Keith back here. Keith, oh, somewhere. Back here. Keith Towers is our OE2 connection. In other words, he handles a lot of our conversion type people. You know, not not working directly with GM or Jeep, but working with the OE2. Me and Rodrigo Alonso. Here. Hey. Rodrigo's back here. He is originally from Mexico City, and when he got into the BFG light truck part, he just kind of sunk right in, and I went to him, and he said, I like this. This is where I play <laughs> all day. So it's a good thing. So anyways, his first time out here, and I think he's already had, already had a real good time in learning yeah. more, more, more and more about what we do we do and enjoy. Uh, one and, and Rodrigo, I, I guess put it this way, he is in product uh, for BFG light truck, so the things that we're doing new and different would be a G light truck for the next, you know, today through the next couple of years, you know, that's his baby. Uh, last year we were able to get Tom Japina out here, which is, Tom's job is very similar to Rodrigo's, except he's looking at stuff more in the future, you know, six, seven, eight years down the road. So we definitely have a plan to make sure things keep moving for BFG. Uh, in California, four-wheel drive associate or four-wheel drive club, and if, Without me giving, going into all the details, I'm going to say that if you want inf more information about it, Bill Albright here knows all about it, I think, right? That's right. Okay. Probably very close to your home. That's right. right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the second trail was Blocka Peak Trail. Hey, right on. The Creepers Jeepers Gang. And we actually have two members here. Adrian Watson, President of Creeper Jeepers. Sylvan Watson, Secretary and Safety Officer this year at Creeper mm -hmm. Jeepers. In fact, you guys have dug quite a bit. You want to talk about any of the stuff you guys have done on the trails here lately? Well, a little bit because one of the things that we are working on and continue to work on is Black Bear up uh, above Silverton going over to Telluride. Yeah. Uh, and we are working with a BFG grant at that part. We started, it's actually there's a road that goes up, makes a switchback, runs up. Many years ago, somebody tried to do a hill climb up there. It started off as a two-track. It eventually, because it's up above Timberline, is wound up to be about 30 feet wide and about 18 inches deep. We've been fighting that thing for like eight years. And with the, especially the funding that we're getting from BFG, we put in these sausage excelsior waddles all the way down, trying to slow the erosion down. We're working with the Forest Service trying some experimental things with a product they refer to as biochar, which is basically it's a, they manufacture charcoal from slashings. And we went up there this past fall and put some biochar down, raked some seed that they gave us, us the high altitude seed, and covered it with hay. We'll have to wait till like August or September to see if we're gonna have any results up there because of the short, short growing season. But the topsoil up there is only about two inches deep. So it's a, it's an ongoing battle, but again, with the help that we're getting from BFG on that trail, uh, we're, we feel like we're gaining some on it. And I think we'll be doing the same thing over on Mount Blanca. Uh, it's really, really, we've been able to put up some trail signs over there on Mount Blanca. We actually have three trails. 
uh, Black Bear, Elwood Pass, and Mount Blanca. So we're doing very well. We have a really good working relationship with the Forest Service in the San Juan National Forest. In fact, last year they asked us to go up into the La Plata's up at Columbus Basin because there was some old, there was an old wrecked truck down at the bottom. It's about, uh, I say, about seven or eight hundred feet down the side of the mountain, and they were actually amazed that we have vehicles that can take off down over a rock slide and get down there to it, and we. We gave them a whole trailer load of scrap metal before they got out of there, but they, and they're asking us to do more this year. We've actually got one area they're going to be doing a travel management study on uh, up in the upper Hermosa. They're going to give us keys to gates that nobody else gets to go in, and we're going to go in, and they're going to ask us to do an evaluation to see if we can possibly open those gates up and maybe make some loops through there. So it's, wow. it's a good deal there. Thank you. Thank you for everything you guys do. Uh, the third club or uh, trail this year is uh, Beds and Dents Trail out of Mount Olive, Alabama. This is part of the Gray Rock uh, Park there in Alabama. And Central Alabama Off-Road Society, I know, don't think there's anybody from there here. But if you can stop on there too. Yep. <laughs> so before you leave, make sure you have a show today too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, today. You couldn't get it right the first time, so you had to try it again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pretty much. Didn't get it right the second time. No, I didn't. So we're still trying to support the trails. And then uh, uh, another guy I didn't mention a while ago is John Williams. John, are you back there? John is from Miller Motor Sports Park up in Salt Lake City and we kind of depend on John to help teach the new Goodrich folks that are coming online with us so he trains them and makes sure that when they are operating a Jeep they're not stupid <laughs> okay but uh, thank you John